Morning guys, how are you? Welcome to a new vlog. Me and baby boy are playing. He got a train set from his um, auntie and he absolutely loves to chew all the wood. If you're new to the channel, my name is Carla and I make motherhood, lifestyle and vlog videos. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and watch my other videos and you'll get to see a lot more of me and baby Devin. The sun is completely in his face right now. It's so cold in the mornings in Perth. Oh my gosh. We've he has an oil heater, an oil column heater in his room. We've got a heater in our room. And then when you come out to the big open living room, it's so cold. So we just live in our robes. <laughs> I think the last time we spoke, Devon had just started getting these two teeth. Well, now they're completely down. And he's now got these two teeth. So now he's got four top teeth. But... The teething and the pain that he was in, my poor baby. He kept waking up in the night. The other night he woke up three times and he just wouldn't settle. Um, I had to give him Panadol the other day. He, um, yeah, he sh it has been worrying him a lot because they're coming through at the exact same time. So, my poor baby. But yesterday we went to the aquarium and he had a great day and he was like really busy. So last night I put him down. He was so tired by the time we got home. I put him down. He went down so easily at like, I think seven o'clock he ended up falling asleep and he slept through the night, which was so lovely because um, yeah, the past few nights, well, for about two weeks now, he has been waking up in the night. Normally like only once, but still just to be able to sleep was great oh and also look I have new hair I went to the salon and my hair's always been like black box color which is a hairdresser's worst nightmare and I knew that they would like feel something if I went there but whatever I just was like look I'm not expecting much but I'd like you to put like bleach you know do foils and I don't care what color it goes just as long as it's a little bit lighter and it lightened up so good I'm really impressed and it even went like a quite nice colour. She put um, a toner on it and then she put another toner on it because I think it went a bit orange. But I'm very happy with it. And um, they also cut loads off. Um, it's been so long. I'm, you would have seen in my other videos, like it was down to almost my bum. And now it's like... Well, some people would still think that's long, but for me, that's short. Like, my boob ends here, so it's like just above the bottom of my boob, which I haven't had hair so short in ages. So, but I love it. Like, I actually, I think it was well overdue. Like, I think it was a bit too long, which, you know, some days I liked having long hair, but on an everyday general, it was a bit wild. Look at the state of my living room <laughs> I wanted to show you because his new thing is that he dances on demand ready um oh what song should I sing damn I don't know what song okay bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs bananas in pajamas <laughs> I'm not gonna let him mug me off he's busy right now puts oh my Look, let mummy move this out the way. This is his Devonte puzzle. He loves the O, like every single time he goes for the O. Right, now this is stuck. Come, Baba, mummy get it for you. Oh, we got this as well. It's the coolest toy ever. Um, Tyler found it and then we got it in the Big W Toy Mania sale. And it's so good. It's called a Chase Me Bear. Let me show you. He loves it, look. He dancing. He's dancing to it. Woo! 
I've got this thing on my phone called the Kegel Reminder and it pops up and tells me to do my Kegels at half nine in the morning and half nine at night. So, just doing them. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say, I, um, I think my breastfeeding journey is coming to an end sooner than I had hoped. He's 11 months on the 11th, so almost just under two weeks and he's just he's just not into it like what, what was that video I did um it was the what my baby eats in a day and I was showing you how like he was kind of refusing the breast like you know he would go and then he'd mm -mm -mm, and I'd get it out and he'd like turn his head and all this and then I was like doing a lot of research and it said that at that I think he was maybe nine months at the time maybe eight months and it was like oh it's normal and it is just a feeding strike so okay no worries like i'll just wait it out like i kept feeding him anyway kept offering offering like whenever and then they said it normally takes like two weeks well he's now almost 11 months and he literally is he just is not interested the only time he will want boob is um in the morning when he first wakes up and sometimes at night but even at night like he'll suck for maybe like two minutes like it's nothing like he's really not getting anything out of it he'll just suck 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 and then he like either falls asleep or he's not interested he wants his dummy or whatever um so i about two weeks ago or a week no about a week ago i started giving him in the daytime because in the day he literally wasn't having any milk whatsoever because he would just outright refuse he wouldn't even suck for a minute and um so i introduced a one bottle of formula i'm using nan comfort that was the one that um is recommended for like a breastfed baby uh, and i'm using a number one teat i don't know i feel like you know because he's used to it coming out of a boob maybe it's slower i don't know so i'm using the number one teat at the moment but he um he takes the bottle and he drinks i think because it just it comes out straight away where my milk is you know not as much now it, he has to work hard for it to come out and i think he's just bored of it so like when he sucks the bottle and he gets milk straight away <sighs> he will have which really really upsets me like i don't no one understands like well I will obviously breastfeeding mums would understand but you know i keep saying you know i'm actually really upset about it i don't know i have like an attachment to him in that way and the fact that he doesn't want it it makes me really sad so but the only time that he right okay so i've been giving him in the day Again, he, he's not drinking a lot. He'll probably drink, like, if you make a whole bottle, which is, what, 250 mils, he'll have, like, half. Um, so he's still not having a lot, but, I mean, that's good. That's more than what he was having from me uh, because he wasn't even sucking for a, a minute in the day from me. <clears throat> so anyway, the other night, he was... Um, this was two nights ago. Obviously, he's been having trouble with his teething, and he was really unsettled i put him down to sleep and i put him down at half six and then he slept until half seven or just before half seven he woke up and he was crying and he cried 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 and, he cried. and i just he's never been like that he's never really cried like he's i'm always able to settle him always especially with the breastfeeding like whip out the boob and he would just always settle and nothing was working i offered the boob obviously he's been teething and, and it was like a, it was a, a bad cry so I, I end up giving him um uh baby nurofen not panadol nurofen and um you know waited half an hour for that to kick in he was still crying i gave him a teething toy he through it he didn't want that so then i was like oh gosh tyler like let's make a bottle of um me and tyler were like taking turns because he was you know our backs were getting sore he's heavy now so we was like holding him and like obviously every time we would put him down he would crack it so we was just holding him he was crying um we ended up making him a bottle of formula he drank the whole bottle and he settled and fell asleep Oh, I'm getting emotional even thinking about it. But my poor baby, he obviously didn't get 
like what he wanted from me. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. It's like really sad to me that, that our breastfeeding journey is coming to an end. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Oh, oh Baba. I know he's not my last, oh. I know he's not my last baby, so I'll do it again, but it's just sad, like he's growing up. This is probably like the first of many um, times where I'm gonna have to learn to like let go and he's growing up, he doesn't need me anymore, like so much, you know. Um, but he, um, I'm still gonna give him in the morning because like for example, so last night I gave him, um, oh my gosh. So I gave him a bottle before bed last night and he he drank it so yeah i didn't i, I gave him well while tyler was making the bottle um i did give him boob and he did suck for a bit but obviously you know one minute and then tyler was in with the bottle so i gave him the bottle and he drank it really nicely settled and he slept through the night um so yeah i mean i just have to accept it and that's it now um but then I gave him this morning when he woke up and he had a good suck like he normally does. Like he had a good feed this morning from me. Um, so I think what we're going to do is just do the once a day uh, breast and bottle every other feed. So I, um, I need to just get used to making them and stuff. But um, I think I don't know how many I need to give him because before it was just on demand. But... To be honest, he eats so much solid food. He does, He's not even really interested in milk anymore. Like, when I've been giving him formula, it has only been the one bottle in the day. I'll try and maybe give him... I'll try and maybe offer him two milk feeds during the day. And then I will give him, obviously, before bed at night. And then breast in the morning. And we'll see how that goes. But I'll keep you updated with how it all goes. Um, but yeah, I don't know how sustainable it is just um, breastfeeding one time a day. I feel like my milk will probably dry up before long. But as, as long as we can do it uh, gradually, then at least like I won't get any complications. Because I've had mastitis a few times, maybe like three times. Um, so I mean, I, I can feel that I'm not producing much milk. They are like squishy all the time. So... I don't think we'll get any complications with like mastitis from me giving up and I'll just do it gradually until like my milk actually ends up drying up on its own but he eats so much solid foods and honestly he'll be one in two months not well no not even like one month so um yeah and then from then you're allowed to give cow's milk and all of that so I don't know my goal was a year but I'm just I'm just short of a year but maybe I'll, I'll last a year just with that one feed in the morning I don't know but obviously it's it's for him like whatever he wants i'll just follow and see and see what happens today we are going food shopping because so i got food uh, food got hair all in my face um let me show you how empty our fridge is literally <laughs> all there is is fizzy drinks so we need to go shopping get some foodies and also we what do I need I need to get like a sewing kit because we bought the dog our dog so fat um we got him some extra extra large dog coats and the bloody velcro that goes under his belly doesn't even touch <laughs> so I need to like sew an extra bit of material on there just to give it a bit more to go around his belly so that's what we're doing. I'm going to get this baby dressed and we're going to head out. Bye. See you later. We just got back from the shop. We ended up going to Aldi and of course I forgot my needle and thread. But anyway, I thought I'd show you what we got because I don't know, people are interested. So every time we go to Aldi, there's like certain things that we always like to get because in Aldi it's really cheap. So for example, like these little yogurts and stuff, they're like 60 cents. And Devin loves them. So we got some yogurts and these for when we go out. He likes these. I know they're like only for six, well, six plus months. But he, he still likes these. So I keep them in the cupboard just in case we go out. I got some hard and soft taco kit. 
tasty cheese, a zucchini, bananas, red onions, pumpkin, some mushrooms, got some sour cream for a recipe that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I got some curry powder and some star anise for other recipes. Some sun dried tomatoes, little tins of spaghetti, white rice, three bags. Uh, for meat, I got two things of diced beef, some pork and veal mints, some turkey mints, and some a bulk pack of chicken breasts. Um, bread, crumpets for the baby, diced tomatoes, beans, uh, where are we? Oh, the other thing that we like to get when we go to Aldi is dog food because um, that's cheap and the dog loves it. Um, so we got all the flavours. Casserole, I think one of them's pasta and a loaf one. We got this giant bag of dog food. Um, I also got this. This is the Dyson, um, the laundry sanitizer. I've heard really good things about that for like, obviously, sanitizing your laundry. So we've got some of that. Some um, Pinio Clean, but it's called Protect and Clean, the eucalyptus one. I got some glass cleaning wipes and some disinfectant wipes, two packs of them. Some scouring pads, eggs, um, fajita, the fajita and taco seasoning, milk. This is vegetable oil, and we picked up some of the Mamiya nappies as well. I thought I'd give those a try because we normally use the Rascal and Friends, but these it's like literally ten dollars for like fifty nappies. So I thought we'd try them out and see if we like them. And I think that is everything. I let me see if I can find the receipt, and I'll tell you how much it all came to. We can't find the receipt, but Tyler said it came to about 160 something, um, which I think is very good. Aldi is so cheap. And also I got these um, socks from Best and Less. Little banana socks for Devon. Because for his um, birthday party, it's bananas and pajamas themed. So I thought he could wear little banana socks on the day because it's like a soft play thing. So he's going to be in socks. And then these ones say, I'm bananas about my mummy, which he really is, so. And they were four bucks. I think they're a bit big though, but we'll make it work. I thought I would show you how I separate my meat. So, one sec. So this meat, because it's just me and Tyler, we won't, in one go, we're not gonna eat this whole thing. So I split them in half. So I'll get like four bags from this two. So I get the sandwich bags, so I'll take out four, and then I get a permanent marker, and I'll just write diced beef, and today's date, which is the 29th. Then I'll open it up, I'll also, I'll put, there's about 500 grams in each packet, so I'll put 250 grams at the top there to show how much is in there. And then I just take about half and put it in the bag. So now I've separated it into bags. I'm gonna keep one to put in the fridge and then I'm gonna put the others in the freezer. I will make something with this within the next couple days. So I'll keep this one in the fridge. And I do the same thing with my chick chicken breasts. Um, I will separate them and put them into bags. I'll normally separate them like two breasts per bag. Sometimes one, depending on what I have planned, but yeah. Every couple of days I do a dummy roundup. So I just grab all his dummies and I, well I normally wash them and then put them in the sterilizer. But I was on the, these are Bibs dummies and I was on the Instagram page the other day and they were saying that what you need to do to clean them, otherwise you'll damage them, is um, you pour boiling water over them, like put them in a strainer and do this. And just pour all over the dummies and that's how you clean them. Which is so much easier. But yeah, apparently the other way, like, because I would, 
I would scrub them and like wash them with hot soapy water and then and then I'd put them in a steriliser. But this way is easier and this is the way that you're supposed to do it. Another thing they said is when your baby's dummy drops on the floor, you're better to give it to them straight from the floor than to suck it, which guilty because I always used to suck his. Uh, like if there was dirt or something on it, I would suck it off like if he was, well, any time it dropped on the floor. But yeah, apparently you shouldn't do that either. It's funny the things that you find out that you shouldn't do, which you haven't been doing. The lighting is so yellow. So I am going to be giving Devin his dinner now and then we're going to do bath and bed and bottle and hopefully he sleeps through the night. But yeah, we're going to say goodbye now because this time is so busy. So goodbye and thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and show me some love and also hit the like button as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Bye. 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 <laughs>